Hi, my name is Braxton Fleming. I'm in Mr. Diaz's Survey and 2 class, CET 205. The topic of my project is on cross sections of road. Behind me here is University Boulevard that runs from 501 back to 544. I have in my hands the set of drawings when the realignment was done back in 2006 at University Boulevard. And from these plans, I'm going to show and demonstrate how to read and view a cross section. Cross-section views are perpendicular to the direction of the road. They display a vertical section of the ground or structure at right angles to the center line or baseline of the roadway. Depending on the length and topographic complexity of the road, there can be hundreds of cross-sections. Each cross-section is referenced back to a station. From these views, you are able to see the slopes and elevations of the existing ground as well as proposed structures. Also, you will be able to determine the cut and fill at a particular station. More in-depth cross-section views are normally located in the plan's detail pages. These views typically show items such as the width and slope of roadways, traffic lanes, sidewalks, medians, curbs, shoulders of the road, swells, drainage ditches, and other utilities you might find. When it comes to reading cross-sections, there are two things you are normally looking at. The first is the natural ground line, or sometimes referred to as the existing ground elevation. As you see by the diagram, the natural ground line is a light line, sometimes dashed, that follows the curvature of the Earth's surface at the given station. The next diagram shows the proposed elevation lines. These lines are normally larger and show the finished grade of the road at the given station. By the picture, you are able to see the layout of the road, sidewalk, and swells to the side of the road. Here is the typical cross-section view. Notice how the center line of the road is shown along with the natural ground line and the proposed elevation and grades. By the view at the station, you see that the area around both swells to the side of the road will need to be excavated, while the area below the roadway and sidewalks will need to be built up to the finished grade line. Okay, like I said earlier, I was fortunate enough to have access to the set of plans when they done the realignment of University Boulevard several years ago. And from these set of plans, I was going to show you how to read the cross-section views. All right, the first thing I'm looking at is the roadway plan and profile view page. Okay, and here is where 501, and there is the start of University Boulevard, and this goes back to this actually goes back to the old entrance before they installed the roundabout. But as you can see, though, it's got each station marked 1,300, uh, 1,400, 15, so on down to uh, 2,100, actually 22, I'm sorry. And as you can see, they got them spaced out every 100 feet. The next page I'm going to be looking at is the roadway cross section page. It shows station 1350 through 2200. As you can see, this page has a scale, a vertical scale of 1 inch to 5 feet and a horizontal scale of 1 inch to 25 feet. This is an example of a cross section at station 1700. Notice the dotted line, which is the current ground elevation view. Then notice the solid line, which is the proposed elevations. Notice you have a swell shoulder of road, the actual road, and then the medium. Along the bottom and sides of the view is a scale. The zero on the bottom, which is going to be your center line, which goes through the medium. These two numbers represent the elevations. Uh, the one on the right represents the proposed elevation of the medium. Then the one on the left represents the current ground elevation. Notice here how most of the proposed elevations are above the current ground elevation so you will have to be built up to meet those grades. If you move over to section 1400 you see it's opposite where most of them, the proposed are below the current ground so therefore you would have to excavate to meet those current or those desired grades. One last example I wanted to show about the cross section views. Notice here around station 1950 that the median goes from being pretty narrow and starts widening out to station 1800. 
if you go back and look at the cross section reviews, you see how starting at 1950 and then going back towards 1800, the medium starts to widen out, as you can see. I mentioned earlier about more cross section views being shown in the plans detail pages. Here is the view shown from the plans for University Boulevard. As you can see, it has a pretty simple layout of all the measurements and slope of the traffic lanes, medians, shoulders, and swells. The following picture is based off of the detailed view. As you can see, the road has a slope allowing stormwater to drain off the edge of the road and into the swells. Each section of the road is 24 foot wide with 12 foot traffic lanes and swells are around 15 feet off the edge of the pavement. Also, as you can see, the picture looks exactly like how the detail does. I hope after seeing this video that you will have a better understanding of viewing and reading cross-sectional views. Thank you for watching.